mark. So my question is every year when the UPSC list comes out, there will be 35 IAS officers versus around 180 IAS officers were adopted. And as a country of 1.4 billion people, you said we represent our country, right? So don't you feel that we need more IAS officers in order to push our interest of what we believe in, what our ideology is, or I would say what are our principles? I would say that's a very fair question, good question. Well, let me tell you, when I entered the Foreign Service, it was 1987, there were only 10 officers. And this continued for very long. So from the inception of India's independence, the Foreign Service was conceived as a very small, exclusive part of a dedicated team of officers who would represent their nation's interests abroad. And that actually continued well into the 1990s. It is only since the 2000s, and you're absolutely right, that you, know, you need many more in number because the issues have multiplied. It's only since the 2000s that the indent, the annual indent has been increased. And today, you're seeing it at 35. Trust me, that's humongous. Because there were batches of foreign service officers of just six, eight and my own batch was just ten. And that continued for a very long time. So I think now the thinking is exactly like this, that we need more officers because the issues have multiplied. There are so many new issues in the world today. They were not there when I joined the service. And climate change has become such an issue. Terrorism was always an issue. Pandemics, pandemics preparedness is a major issue. Rising conflicts is an issue. Then there are cyber issues, then there's artificial intelligence, digital issues. You name it and the issues have multiplied. So you do need more officers, you're absolutely right, which is why the intent has been increased. But as with any change, you will appreciate, it cannot be sudden. It cannot be uh, suddenly, you know, you increase the intent to 100. Who knows, that might happen down the line, but now I think we are at a steady number. And the number of officers will increase over time. Because as you increase the intent, it will not suddenly result in a larger foreign service, but over time, suddenly, you'll have many more young officers in the service who move into the system. Also, as you might be aware, there are many specialists now who are being accepted into the Ministry of External Affairs as natural entries from other ministries. You know, you need experts. You need experts in various subjects. You might need experts on digital issues, you need, might need experts on military issues, you might need experts on AI issues. So they work in our Ministry of External Affairs and they uh, backstop the Foreign Service Carter and in fact are a part now of the Foreign Service Carter. So all of that is happening, it's a work in progress and I won't be surprised if over time the intent increases and goes beyond the time. Thank you. Uh